Here's a story of a girl named Allie who was anchoring a college news show. There were three other reporters like the anchor who were pretty swell. Here's a story about a guy named Greg, but let's not forget the others involved. Every member, very different, they started off. Adam Gomes, Natalie Hicks, from UTTV, this is Campus Weekly. I'm Greg Praver. And I'm Natalie Hicks. Let's start things off this week by taking a look at what's going on in the news. Former nuclear negotiator Hassan Rouhani is now a candidate for Iran's presidential election in June. Last week, he pledged that if elected, he would improve rocky relations with the West. Let's hope he follows through in being a negotiator for peace, especially now that we are dealing with the Looney Tune from North Korea. Everyone remember Peter Tweeter Anthony Weiner? He told New York Times Magazine that he is interested in running for mayor of New York City. Well, if the governor of New York could get away with hiring a prostitute and become the anchor of a nationally acclaimed news network, then Weiner can get away with anything. Last week, the nation's largest Mexican fast food chain, Taco Bell, announced new nutritional plans to have some of its combo meals meet one-third of the federal government's recommended dietary guidelines. Only seven more years, and we may be eating real food from Taco Bell. Thanks, Greg. And here is a Minaret update. If you love anything and all things Nutella, then get ready to stuff your face because a new crepe restaurant called The Flying Pan has opened near campus. There's definitely nothing tastier than sugar, on top of sugar, on top of some more sugar. Victoria's Secret has begun to sell a new line of undergarments called Bright Young Things. Some of the underwear says things like, feeling lucky and call me on the back. Many parents fear the new line is too provocative for their tween age daughters to be wearing. But little do these parents know that their sweet little Catherine is already a hardcore drug addict and has had sex with at least 30 guys. A UT journalism student got the opportunity to cruise around town with the Tampa Bay police officer for a night. She and the police officer encountered several eventful scenarios. While this sounds like it'd be a lot of fun, sitting in a golf cart with one of the campus security officers is probably a little bit more interesting. We're going to try something a little different from this week forward. All segments will be uploaded separately to transition into our new web style. We're anxious for this change because we will be able to produce more content at a faster rate. So here are this week's segments. From Lindsay Lohan's antics to Kim Kardashian's drama, Anthony brings you the latest of the lives of the rich and famous. Click here for his celebrity update. Did you happen to catch Griffin when he went around asking random questions? If you managed to avoid him, click here to see what you've been missing. And that's all we have for you today. Unfortunately, this will be the last episode of the semester. Although, all of us here at UTTV would like to wish you good luck on all of your finals. If you're interested in being featured as the musical talent next fall, make sure to contact Jamie Danko. See you next semester. I'm Greg Praver. And I'm Natalie Hicks.